It's Wealth Wednesday, and we are continuing our discussion on financial family planning. Investment specialist from First Ontario Credit Union and Aviso Wealth, Yvonne Delry, joins us now with, uh, along with Senior Wealth Advisor Larry Boyle. Welcome to both of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so we are continuing our discussion on parents and children. So we've talked about... And finances. And finances. <laughs> well, the finances with parent and children, and we've talked about saving strategies for older children, but there is specific financial considerations if you are starting your family. So Larry is a proud new dad, so in this new day and age, he can talk about a few things firsthand that him and his partner uh, needed to consider. Mm -hmm. You have a six month old, congratulations. Oh, thank you, thank yeah. you very much. It's uh, exciting, it's an amazing time, definitely. Yeah, so do you, you kind of knew ahead of time some of the cost associated, <laughs> were you surprised? Definitely surprised. Um, there's a lot of things to consider. We were super excited, of course, for um, you know our baby to come, but uh, we were also you know starting to plan for all the things that we were going to be needing. Um, there's a lot more than I initially had thought. Mm -hmm. uh, so we'd started by speaking to our friends and family that also had children to pick their brain and get their opinion on things that they thought was essential and needed. Things that we needed to get is just as important we actually want to know things that we didn't need to get because there's so many things out there and so many things to get. Marketed towards new parents, oh, yes. So much, the, and the internet's, yeah, <laughs> so many things. Um, so once we spoke to them, we were able to get a really good idea of some of the things we needed and didn't need. Um, we were also able, thankfully, to get a number of things from them um, secondhand that were gently used. That helped reduce the burden of having to buy absolutely everything full price, um, which of course helped, especially when there's so many new things to get. There's a crib, stroller, there's car seats, and then there's ongoing expenses of things such as... Diapers. <laughs> that's a big one, and yeah. it never ends. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Diapers, we have clothes, which they grow out of in a, in a second, it seems, um, as well as potentially even formula. So Right, and then you also have to think about, not only is there that added expense, but there's also a drop in income. That's a, a huge consideration. Um, when we were starting to plan, of course, the first was excitement, and then the, wow, we need to get all of this stuff, and we need to get it, it seems like, right away. Um, and then also our income's gonna change. And with our employment e income decreasing, of course, due to maternity and paternity leave, we had to start to plan ahead. So one of the first things we did to sit down, create a budget, and mm -hmm. review our budget in detail, look at our expenses, look at our incomes. We started to set money aside to a separate account, um, pretty much every pay to prepare for the items that we needed, all of, this, all of the stuff, uh, as well as to help replace income when we knew that would be coming. Right, and, and that's something I think a lot of parents don't think about. You think about, okay, you've got a baby, now you're gonna th be thinking about um, education. Yes, yeah. Education and we, yeah. savings. And, we, and we've talked about it. I mean, there is employment insurance that will supplement income. So there is the two categories. There's maternity leave and parental leave. Mm -hmm. So maternity leave is specifically for the individual who gave birth and is looking after the child. And then there's parental leave, which can be divided between the, the two parents. There is the standard leave, which is the, uh, is the year, which is the additional uh, 40 weeks. And then there is the extended which is an additional 69 weeks um, you get the EI is kind of divided between the uh, between the two time segments the other thing to really consider is and we've talked about this in previous Wealth Wednesdays is updating and having a will yeah. specifically the most important thing is guardianship of a minor child um, and also administering the estate and the assets to make sure that the guardians would have enough for expenses and to be able to produce or administer the lump sum when they become of age and when they are financially more mature to handle the lump sum. Right, got to think about insurance and, and everything as well. So like like so many things to think about before Absolutely. you welcome the new one home even. Yes, uh, life insurance, yeah. like you mentioned insurance, it's, it's a huge consideration yeah. and things change and uh, throughout our life and obviously a baby is a big change. Uh, life insurance can be very important to have on right. both parents and the children. It can help, the payout could help with debts, it could help uh, supplement income, day-to-day -day expenses, um, you name it. And it's definitely a, a big, big consideration, especially yeah. for new parents. Okay, okay, we have run out of time, yeah. but you always like to get your tagline in there. Dream, plan, achieve, and especially with young babies. Okay, <laughs> we'll get the links up on our social, uh, uh, on our website, chch.com slash morning life.